Hi folks, China Guitar Skeptic back with a video and in this episode uh, an update on the Buddy Strat, a, uh, another new Fender guitar project, something to watch. Uh, the slight change to the account settings on my channel, some news on Sarah Lee and my take on the rating system for sellers. Yeah, hi folks, um, been meaning to do this follow on to the previous video for a week now and it's been just absolutely manic. Um, first thing I want to talk about today is um, on the forum there is a, um, a post, a sticky post that relates to um, sellers and rating the sellers. Um, now I know that uh, Michael, the guy that's done that, um, is a really, really prolific guy in the uh, in the forum and it's got some great ideas and some great um, answers on stuff for all of you. Um, I haven't taken the seller's rating system down but I just want to express my concern that it's a little bit dangerous not only um, in that um, the sellers change all the time I don't think even the name of the seller necessarily means you're dealing with the same person. Um, it's not me putting up the rating system so I can deal with the ethics of uh, people effectively promoting using um, sellers on, 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 uh, from China. But uh, I really can't rate um, any more than I can recommend because the, the quality controls are just not there. So please be wary of taking A, B and C list sellers. I'm not poo-pooing the idea or saying it's a bad idea. In fact, I think it's really good that Michael's taken so much time and effort to help you all, and I'd like to thank him for that. Um, however, quality is subjective to the individual. Um, and what you think is a good guitar and what I think is a good guitar may be worlds apart. So just bear that in mind, that it is just an opinion uh, based on feedback from people that have bought, and it's their opinion. So just a, a word of caution on that. <clears throat> And actually, that leads me nicely on to um, an issue that there has been highlighted on that very forum post, which is to do with Sarah Lee. Now, Sarah Lee is the girl, or the seller, who sold me Greeny Moore. Yes, I know, she's in a terrible state, and I need to get round to doing the, the fixing up of this soon. And I will do, and I will post the videos on that as quickly as I can. Um, now... Sarah Lee doesn't post to the UK anymore. So I contacted her, or so, so the forum said. So I contacted her and um, she came back to me and she explained that there had been so many unfair buyer disputes from the UK, people disputing small things. Now I've seen one um, video on, uh, sorry, uh, one post on the forum where a complete guitar neck had come away from a Les Paul. Now that's unacceptable, um, but she has come back to me saying that people were um, asking for a hundred dollars off of a three hundred dollar guitar for little blemishes in the paintwork and um, again you know it's subjective i don't know what people expect for three hundred dollars you're not going to get the perfection that you're looking for in a american uh, made les paul and even them at <laughs> several thousand dollars or pounds um, they're going to have flaws and they're going to have things that aren't quite perfect about them Everything about buying a guitar is subjective. So um, as a result of so many um, unfair um, requests for refunds and the like, uh, unfortunately Sarah Lee has stopped selling to the UK, which is a huge shame really because she was quite a, uh, a reasonable seller for me. Uh, she has still offered to sell to me, but then she would. Um, but what I think I want to say to everybody is, Beware, for $300, you're not going to get a fantastic guitar. If you're expecting to get an American standard of build and quality and wood and electronics, you're going to be sadly, sadly disappointed. And that's the whole point of my channel. 
which goes on nicely linking again to uh, <laughs> it's almost like I'm getting used to this now isn't it um, I've had to make a few changes to my channel folks um, I am struggling to fund further projects of this so I have relented and I've taken the advice of my buddy Dave's in Texas and just for a trial period I'm giving um, monetizing ads um, a try on my channel uh, if if it doesn't prove worthwhile I'll stop it again because that wasn't the point of my channel uh, but it's just going to help me to carry on and continue to uh, to do these sort of things for you so um, a little shout out to my buddy uh, Lloyd Norville who was one of many who emailed to ask about this and this for the 70 to 80 people whose comments haven't gone up on my video of the unboxing of the buddy strat floral poi floral poi rearrange the letters and what do you get yeah i'm sorry folks it was an april fall i just wanted to have a bit of fun and actually if you uh if you go did go and look at the letter you'll see that it is uh signed by somebody called one hung low and also this chinese signature here actually is the the chinese symbol for fake or forgery so again I tried to riddle the uh, video with clues um, but yes this is one of my real um, Fender Strats this is a 50th anniversary American Fender Stratocaster reissue uh, Buddy Holly Strat so I'm sorry to have a bit of fun with you it was just a bit of fun and I'm sorry to all of those of you who posted comments uh, that I didn't put up uh, out of fairness saying that you thought the thing sounded awful from China um, and nothing like a American Strat. Uh, the vast majority of you obviously picked up that it sounded fantastic and that it was an American Strat. However, right, so Floral Poi aside and April Fool aside, in the 90s I started modifying Strats. This is one that I did uh, which is a Japanese Strat. Unfortunately, during the Jap phase, the serial number used to be printed on the headstock and I went through a phase of rubbing off all of the decals on my guitars uh, because, well, it just seemed like a cool thing to do at the time. It wasn't. So now I can't tell you when this was built or wh what year it was, but I can tell you it was Japanese um, and I have done my modification on it which was to take out the middle tone and put in a humbucker and a coil tap on the humbucker in order to achieve that three single coil strat sound but also to flick it over and have that gibson rock um, humbucker in the bridge position five-way switch um, so that's that's the jap one but i also did a and by the way i i resprayed and colored this as well as changing the scratch plate for the perloid this used to have a mirror scratch plate in it which was pretty cool um, and this one is a i can tell you that this is a chinese made one or actually taiwan because although it says here made in china the serial number is yn which means that it's uh, a yakko um taiwan made guitar yn and the six means that it was made in the in the uh in 96 so this is a 1996 um taiwan made made in china um badge or plate um and again i did the same mod took out the um the middle tone in fact on this one the the tone is actually just for show it's not connected Again, five-way selector switch volume um, and there's a humbucker and flick that back and that turns that humbucker into single coil so you've got three single coil and I thought that you might like to hear a demonstration of what the difference between a real American Strat and this Chinese copy are um, because I say Chinese copy this is actually a Chinese Fender again you'll see that I've uh, shaved off the uh, the logo and the headstock but you can see how much this one was played uh, I played this live quite a bit it's got a bit of damage buckle damage on the back it's due for a bit of an upgrade and a clean up really it's in a terrible state because I haven't had it out for years um, so anyway I'm going to do a little playthrough for you again same setup as I did with um, the buddy strat and what I'll do is I'll play the same riff I'll go through each of the pickup selection positions I'll work on the single coil on this and then I'll give you 
a, um, a humbucker sound as well and see what you think in comparison. Okay. So, there you have it folks, I think it's quite a good demonstration that actually any guitar can sound good with a bit of setup. The pickups on this are a little bit higher, so you'll probably have noticed the sound level, but that's because when I used to play this and the other Strat, I was also using a uh, Jackson Soloist and a uh, Charvel 3DR, uh, which were real rock guitars, and they were they had um, uh, very very strong output pickups. Um, so I'm not going to make any comment. I'm going to leave it to you to comment on what you think between the Chinese-made Fender Squire, which it would would have been uh, before I. So was the Japanese, by the way. It was a Squire Strat. These two Squire Strats I used to play regularly live. And what do you think of um, of uh, Buddy, Buddy's uh, reissue guitar? Um, personally, I love this guitar. It's great to play, um, and the tones, although subtle, are beautiful. But equally, I really, really enjoyed playing the Chinese one and actually getting it out today for the first time in ages. And those strings, by the way, are probably still from the 90s. Um, However, these are also 10 years old because I don't really play strats uh, live. As you're aware, I'm a PRS man. Um, but uh, getting these out and comparing them, even with the old strings on, I hope has given you a little bit of fun, a little bit of an eye-opener. And again, I hope you enjoyed the April Fool um, and aren't too cross about that. Um, and that you've enjoyed this video. So take care and lots of great rocking.